Hi guys, Master of Models here. This is going to be another video giving you a tutorial on how I painted the HMS Prince of Wales. I hope you enjoy. So the paint that you'll be required to use is brown and red. Now what you want to do is you want to mix that to a reddish brown. This will give you the correct colour for the bottom of the body. Um, in order to create a nice flat edge along the top ready for the next colour, I would suggest using masking tape as it really does help. The paints I will be using today are acrylics, a mixture from Warhammer Citadel and really, really old JP normal acrylic paints. Um, links will be in the description about where you can get them uh, and I just use normal detailing brushes. So I'm just I'll get back to you when I finished off the. Uh... So after you finish the red part of the boat, you want to get your tape and rip it in two. Now you want to use these for the flat edges again, so you get a good line and position them halfway across the boat like that. Now it took me quite a long time to line them up because they've got to be fairly straight. So when you're done with that, you need to get black paint, black paint, and just brush and smother paint in between that line. This line will be your uh, line between the camouflage part and the red bottom. So here you can just see me touching it up, finishing it up. I'll get back to you with the next step. So this next step you're going to need grey, dark grey, black and a nice bit of olive green. Now for this it's literally just the camouflage so there you there's no need to be careful. You can just make a wiggle and then just fill it in with colour. As you can see here, I've started off with grey, and then I will be going on to do the dark grey, the black, and the olive green. Um, so it's literally just, doesn't have to be beautiful. Just think about how you would, a soldier, how would you want your boat to be camouflaged? And then there you go. It doesn't have to be the exact same, it can be completely different. So the next step is to do the deck. For the deck, I use a nice tan colour mixed in with the Warhammer Citadel Bleached Bone, also known as Shati Bone. Uh, this took the longest because there was such a wide area to deal with and I just had a fairly small brush. So you literally, all you want to do is just coat the deck in this, including that little area there where the cranes are. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you at the next step. So for this step you are going to want to get your black again and just Paint the tops of the turrets and the two chimneys there in the centre. Just paint them black. That's all you have to do. This was probably the easiest part you can do. Um, it shouldn't take too long, but you have to be careful not to get it on the sides or on the deck. I'll uh, come back to you. The next step is kind of optional, depending on whether you got any of the decking colour on the actual towers itself. Now because I did, I had to completely repaint the towers in a dark grey just so that the orange would not show up and look untidy. But if you have been very clean and got none on the towers, then you can just scrap the step. If you have, then what you're going to need to do is just make up a bit of grey, then coat all, all the towers and the underside of the turrets in this, and also the railway beneath the cranes and by the aeroplane. Do not do the aeroplane yet, because that's going to be for later. So, next step. So, this is the aeroplane. What you want to do is you want to get some green. I used uh, a war boss green from the Citadel paints, and I put it in with some black to dull it down. And you just got to coat coat the plane in it. The next steps will come later on where you can add a bit more detail to the plane, but that will be covered in the sh next step very shortly. But for now, you just need to cover it in a green. It doesn't have to be green, though. This is totally your choice of what you want to paint in that plane. But for this tutorial, I have chosen a dark green. So this is the last step you want to do. You want to wash over the towers. Now you can get the washes from, again, you can get it from Citadel. Other brands are available. I will put a link in the description again where you can find that. Um, after you've washed it, you can 
put the finishing touches on the plane. Now you can you can use decals if you want, but for now I've just painted the wings by putting a blue dot and a red dot to signify it's US. Don't know if the plane was from the US, I really highly doubt it, seeing it's the Prince of Wales, but oh well. Um, I've also put in little brown stripes as camouflage. And after you've done that, you have finished your boat. Thank you for watching. Some stills will be up afterwards. Thank you. Here is the finished product. I have been Master of Models, and this has been a tutorial on how to paint the battleship HMS Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and please subscribe for more. Bye.